Bruce has to arrest David. Suspicion of murder. You mean Madeline? My God, David! I didn't do it. Mark, uh, Rick, we take uh, Mr. Lerman outside for a second. I want, I'll be there in a second. Sure, Inspector. I gotta call the East Coast. Grant should hear about this. What? Do you really think that he tried to kill Madeline? I don't know, but it looks like he's going to be tried for it. Listen, uh, can you come on my place later? Yeah. We need to talk about how we're going to deal with Kirk. Can you meet me there in about an hour? Is that possible? Can you do that? Sure. Good. Montana? I decided not to tell her, or anybody else for that matter, about your suspicions of Kirk. If we're going to do this, we need to do it in secrecy. Is that agreed? Okay. I don't want Kirk to know how I feel anyway. Yeah. I looked in on him up at Stanford. You did? Yeah. Oh, I talked to him a, a few minutes earlier myself. He, he's getting his strength back. He wants to get out of the hospital. He mentioned that. Well, uh, what do we do now? I think we should go to the boathouse. I want you to walk me through what happened Okay. Um, you know, Kirk is going to be coming back to Santa Barbara soon. What happens then? Well, hopefully by then we'll have had a breakthrough. And what if we have it? Then I'm going to protect you, Eden. I'm not going to let the guy get anywhere near you. where I was standing only because I remember the light being there. Uh-huh. Okay, where was Gina? Well, she was she was there, but but this is where she was standing when she said he was gonna kill us both. Too bad she wasn't more explicit. If she just said that Kirk is gonna kill us both, it'd make our job a lot easier. As it is right now, we can't be absolutely sure. Now what? Well, now I'm going to be Gina, so you tell me where to be and what to do. Uh, well, I'm mo moving closer. Okay. Uh, closer. Uh, she was standing here, and that's when I made a grab for the gun. She had the gun on you? Uh, yeah, in, in her right hand. And she said what she said, and then it was like she was trying to push me towards the water. Show me. Well, we fought, and we're about right here. <laughs> You push me in, I'm taking you with me, okay? Uh, so where was uh, you? I was just trying, I was trying to get the gun away. And how was she holding it? Um, she had her hands here. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Look, I want to work on this, but we've got to be cool. Oh, no, huh? I know, I know. You know, when I was at your house earlier, I... 
I think I finally realized something, and, and that was that you're married, and you have a family, and you have responsibilities, and I, I have, I don't know what I have, I, I don't have Kirk, I, I don't really have any love in my life. No. I guess it's kind of hard to envision a romantic future with the guy who tried to kill you. I guess I just... I wanted you to just hold me like we used to. I'm sorry. I'll get back to business. What do you want me to do? I want you to uh, show me the uh, the place where you found that piece of wire. Well, the sound it, it sounded like a, a microphone, like a like a squawk, and it, it sounded like it was coming from there. Yeah, well, he used a PA system. Which is weird. I don't understand why he'd do that. But I'll tell you, it's an interesting relationship between the, the perch where the wire is and the spot where you're standing. What do you mean? It's a great line of fire. What do you mean? I doubt it was an accident that Gina got you in this position exactly. With you standing here and him standing there with a gun, he could take you out clean. A bullet going through your body, any blood that exited your body, your body itself. They would all disappear instantly into the water. That's clean. You remember hearing another shot? No. What you're saying is Kirk might have been up there with a gun. I think it's a possibility. Oh my God. Maybe he was using a silencer. So... Wait a second. Cruz, what are you doing? I'm looking. For what? I'll tell you when I find it. Thanks. Definitely another shot fired. Unfortunately, it only hit wood. It's like a 30 odd six. Well, then they did use a silencer? They must have, otherwise you would have heard it. Well, whoever was fired and missed. Thank God. <sighs> Unless there was a practice run first. Practice? Yeah. In any case, this is a bona fide piece of evidence. If we're lucky, this is going to lead us straight back to your husband. I think this house was the only place I felt safe. Now I know I was in danger even while I felt I was safe. Kirk's coming home soon. I know. I guess we're going to have to find a way to make you feel safe here again, aren't we? Well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to keep playing the loyal wife? And even when I was at the hospital, it wasn't easy. Hopefully we won't have to face that problem. What do you mean? I mean, I hope by the time Kirk gets back, we have enough evidence against him to put him away. What if we don't? Then I don't see how I can keep living with him. Well, I'd have to keep living with him because we're not sure, are we? Look, at Even if we were sure, he'd be suspicious if I didn't live with him, We've right? We've got to find him out and take him down once and for all. Then we can finally... What? Then we, then we can put him behind bars where he belongs. You weren't thinking about anything else? I think... I think it's time to call it a night. Okay. Good night. Eden. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you, I swear. I'm gonna take care of you.
still have the touch. Bye-bye.